pa sa ating mga Bibles. At mga kapatid, nandun po tayo ng training na maya after uh, service sa hapon. Ito po yung schedule natin every last uh, Sunday of the month. So, meron pong uh, men's training na maya hapon. Okay, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Sabi po natin ito ng uh, Bibles. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Start reading from verse 8. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be found, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is found, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see it through a glass darkly, but then face to face, now I know it part, but then shall I know, even as also I am known. And now by that faith, hope, shall be this three, but the greatest of this is charity. So, I mentioned po natin, you know, na, uh, love is permanent. We're talking about the permanence of love. The reason it is permanent is because uh, of the nature of God. God is eternal, and also like, uh, because of the fact that God is love. So if God is love, and God is, is God, and God is eternal, necessarily that God is also love is also eternal. And compared with uh, other things, to emphasize the permanence of love compared to other gifts, ginamit ni Apostle Paul ng iba pang gifts to use as comparison, ano? Knowledge, prophecy, and tongues. Sabi niya, whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there is tongues, it shall cease. And knowledge shall vanish away. So, pare-pareho titigil yan. Pero, ang magpapatigil, magkaiba. Doon sa prophecy, titigil ito, when that which is perfect is pang. Matalang yung tanks, para yung battery na kapag kayo kanyang energy, power, na ubus na, pusa ka mamatay sa kanyang sarili. It will die in natural death. Can it serve its purpose? Okay? So, ito po natin, mga kapatid, ang... Isaiah chapter Isaiah chapter 28, 11, and 12 Isaiah 28, 11, and 12 For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to these people to whom he said, This is the rest wherewith he, he may cause the weary to rest. And this is the refreshing, yet they would not hear. And we have prophecy, you know, na sinasabi sa Old Testament na ang Panginoon, ang umusap sa kanyang bayan, we are using different tongues, you know, as a sign na sila po ay hindi-disqualify ng Panginoon. Uh, I mentioned to you earlier na uh, ang kingdom was offered to the nation, the nation of Israel and the king was offered to the nation of Israel but they rejected the king and rejected his kingdom. Yung mensahe ng mga nangaral offering the, 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 the gospel of the kingdom offering the kingdom and the king all spoke in clear language. Pero kahit na clear ang kanilang language, and their message was also accompanied by miracles. Ang kanilang pangangaral accompanied by miracles, signs, wonders, and proof of the powers of uh, power of the of that which to come, no? Eh, still, hindi sila naliwala, no? Nabasa natin yan sa Hebrews 2, 3 and 4. Dalikan po natin yan, no? Hebrews 2, 3 and 4. How shall we escape if we neglect to break salvation? 
which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. God also bearing them witness, both with signs and wonders, and with diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost, according to his own will. So the Lord accompanied the message of his prophets along with signs and wonders, and yet they did not believe, so God rejected them. So makikita po natin ito po ka use of miracles, not only miracles, but tongues, because tongues is a uh, Tongues belong to the category of miracles, ano? Eh, makikita po natin yan ay exclusively during the apostolic time, ano? Sa kanilang kapanahunan. 2 Corinthians 12.12 So, ito po natin ang 2 Corinthians 12.12 2 Corinthians Chapter 12, verse 12. Truly the signs of an apostle were wrought among you in all patience, in signs and wonders and mighty deeds. So, nakikita po natin a gift of performing miracles and gift of the speaking in different language or what we popularly know as the gift of tongues. Yung ability mo na makapag-preach in foreign language, ano? E nangyari lamang yan during the apostolic era. No, the signs of apostles. Truly, the signs of an apostle were brought among you in all patience, in signs and wonders and mighty deeds. But they rejected the message of the prophets. At the message of the prophet, I am king, and this kingdom. So they judged themselves unworthy. God turned to the Gentiles. So as a sign of uh, judgment to Israel, ano, dahil sa kanilang rejection sa kanilang king, eh, maharatan nila yan kapag tayo mensahe ng Diyos ay hindi niya sa clear language, kundi doon niya sa unclear language. Na yung mga ipapadala ng Diyos sa kanilang pananalita ay hindi niya sa pananalita ng mga Diyo, kundi pananalita ng mga Gentiles. Kaya yung Acts 2, di ba? Pangalan yung mga apostles, yung 11, together with Peter, sabi ng Bible, and Peter stood with the 11. So, sino yung mga nangaral? Yung 12? Bakit 12 pa rin sila? Dahil na-replace na at that time si, si Judas, he was replaced with uh, by Matthias. Kaya Peter stood with the 11. So, pa rin, pa rin, ano? Peter stood with the 11, so 12 na sila, including uh, Matayas. So, nung nakaaral sila Peter, ang kanilang pangkaral, foreign languages na. Naka-itemize naman doon, di ba? Beans, Elamites, Parthians, uh, those of Asia, Persia, yan. Iba-ibang pangguhanin na yan. So, yung mga Hudyo, ano nangyayari, no? Bakit ganito? Nakaaral sila sa ibang pangguhanin, di ba? Mga Galileans ito. So every time they are speaking in tongues, there is always the presence of unbelieving Jews. So it is a sign. At kung natin mga kapatid, time sa tongues is for, is for a sign. Sign para kanino. Not for the believers, but tongues is sign for whom? Sign for the unbelievers. Sino mga unbelievers? Mga unbelieving Jews. Ito mga Jews na who keep on rejecting the king and his kingdom, eh, sign sa kanila yun na, Panginoon, hiniiwan na sila at bumabalik na sa mga Gentile. Kasi masyado silang proud na sila lamang ang kaniligtas sa bila, salvation is of the Jews. Yan ang kanila sinasabi, salvation is of the Jews. At sa kanila pertain ang mga fathers, sa kanila pertain ang oracle, Diba? Sabi nila, kung meron ang maniligtas, eh, ang mga hudyo yan. At kung meron pang hindi maniligtas, sa mga Gentiles, dahil we don't belong to the commonwealth of Israel. The Gentiles don't have the true God. We don't have knowledge of the true God. We don't have a Savior. That does we have no hope. Ano? Kung baga, malayo-malayo tayo sa kandero. Ang mga hudyo, sila yung nasa tabi ng kandero. Diba? Sa kanila yung binigay yung mga prophets, sa mga patriarchs, sa mga mga magulang, ang oracles, ang Panginoon. 
Ano ang ordinansa ng Panginoon? Ang tagapagligtas, magagaling sa mga hudyo, di ba? At makalaki ng advantage nila. But because of the rejection of the Messiah, God also rejected them and God turned His face towards the Gentiles. Kaya yung mensahe ng Panginoon, na ipapangaral na, ligwahin na ng mga Gentiles ang ginagamit. At sila naman ay nananaghihina. Kaya maalala niyo yung parabol ng prodigal son? Yun yun eh. Ang, ang, ang elder brother doon, yun yung Israel. Nang sabi ng, ng elder brother, kung buhay ko, wala akong ginawa, kung isuntin ang kalooban niyo. Sunod ako ng sunod. Samantala kong anak ko na dinustay ang iyong ari-arihan at nabuhay ng panungin pagbubuhay, kinukup ko pa. Actually, nangyari yan, yeah, binigay yung ano na yan, binigay yung uh, parang ano yan, ang Panginoon, kahalo siya po ng Gentile, mga pabitas, mga sinners, para yung pakita ng Panginoon, eh, ay may pagtigil din sa mga Gentiles, na kinukonsider ng mga Jew na mga makasalanan. At tingin nila sa Gentile, tayo yung prodigal, tayo yung sobrang masama. Kaya sabi ng mga palisi, di ba, I thank thee that I am not as God and men are, extortioners, and just adulterer, or even as this, publicahan. Kaya tingin na mga Diyos, sila yung matuwid, sila yung maligta, salvation is of the Jews. Ito, walang maligtasan. Kaya nangyari, ang mga Gentile po ang nangangaral na yun ang mensahe ng Panginoon. Kaya, sa ngayon, sino po ang client nation? Sino ang client ngayon? Sino yung mga nagpapadala ng mga missionary nyo? Di ba mga Gentile churches? Gentile churches, na sana ang Diyo ngayon. Sino kayo ng mission team? Sila na ngayon ang minimisyon, di ba? Supposed to be, sila ang gumagawa niya. Pero sabi ko nga, hindi ko tapos ang Panginoon sa kanila. Dahil ang kanilang blindness is only partial. Dati ko parang panahon na muli nilang makikilala, no? Para i-recognize ang tunay ng Isaiah. And God will uh, use them again to evangelize the world. Particularly yung 144,000 uh, witness. Kasama yung uh, two faithful witness. Kaya yung mga two faithful witness. Elijah and Moses. Together they lived with the 144,000 uh, Jews na mag-evangelize sa buong mundo. So, hindi pa tapos ang Panginoon sa kanila. 1 Corinthians 14.21 Hindi pa natin kung saan, ano? 1 Corinthians 14.21 In the law it is written, With men of other tongues, and other lips will I speak unto these people. Akin na yun, di ba? Dahil yung mga hudyo, dahil yung nila, mensahe ng Diyos, hindi na, hindi na Jewish language ang gamit. Napapapakinggan napapapakingg- nyo lang, mensahe ng Diyos. Gentile language na ano. Kaya nakaroon ng mga apostles during the uh, Pentecost, ano, the foreign language ang gamit ng mga apostles. Tuloy natin. In the law it is written. Actually, referring to Isaiah 20, Isaiah 28, 11, and 14. Yan yung nire-refer dyan. Yan yung tipo na in the law. In the law it is written, with men of other tongues and other lips will I speak unto these people, and yet for all that will they not hear me, saith the Lord. Ano yung verse na tinutukoy yung ipon na in the law? That's in the book of Isaiah, chapter 28, 11, and 11. So, ang nangyari niya yung kanyang mapanahuna na to, they kept on rejecting the Lord. So, God rejected them. So, verse 22, 1 Corinthians 14, 22, Wherefore, thanks are for a what? Thanks are for a sign. Not to them that believe, but to them that believe not. But prophesying serveth not for them that believe not, but for them which believe. So, para ka dito po ang sign, para sa mga unbelievers. And one sign is tongues. Ang ibang pang sign, miracles. Ang isang pang sign, tongues. Pero that sign para ka dito sa mga unbelieving Jews. Para mapagkat ko nila na, nireject na rin sila ng Panginoon dahil nireject nila ang Panginoon. At ang Panginoon, sign din sa kanila na ang mga Gentile na ang 
Ini di bawah tadi kan kembali dalam tanya ada job. Okay, so God is put a big bet to put it into jealousy. Hello, ini kita sedang akan kembali dalam. So the sign is for the unbelieving, especially unbelieving Jews. Another thing, no. So, bakit po tayo naniniwala na ang tanks nagsis? Una sa lahat, eh, yung nabanggit ko na, no, na uh, ang tanks, together with the accompaniment of other miracles, is to prove, no, na yung offer ng kingdom, yung offer na yan, galing sa Bishop. Kaya kailangan ng miracle assign. And tongues is also a form of miracle which will also serve as a sign. Na ang Diyos na nag-o-offer sa kanila ng kingdom at ng uh, king at ang kingdom. So they rejected him and so God also rejected them. So another proof, mga kapatid, ano, na wala na ang, ang tongues, ang pagsisis na dahil sa destruction of, of the temple. Due to the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem. Anong yun po na-destroy ang temple? Ang temple. It was destroyed in 1870 under the uh, under the command of General Titus. Ito yung book of Titus. Ito po si General Titus. He led his legion to attack Jerusalem. He placed the city under siege for six months. Finally, after six months, sumuko ang siyudad. Hindi pa sila, wala silang makain. Walang makapasa ang supply. Walang makalabas para hindi na tulog. After six months, para po tayo dito, six months. In six months, naubos ang pagkain sa loob. Kumina ang siyudad. Tumakas ang tilde ang sundalo sa mga sikretong lagusan. Napasok na ni General Titus, tinibag ang tempo, tinibag ang mga walls. Nati na lang, yung wailing wall, no? yun lang, naiiwan ngayon dun sa lumang struktura sa Jerusalem. No? So yan. So dahil wala na yung temple, paano ba may satakutupara ng mga hudyo, ang mga, ang mga, ang mga, ang mga requirements sa, sa Old Testament uh, sacrifice? So wala na rin na sacrifice, so matitigil na rin sila sa kanilang religious life, so there is no need for the tax at sa, sa, sa warning, sa tax, dahil this is already, tapos na rin ang, ano, ang, ang religious life. In fact, after 1870, ano nangyayas Israel? After the attack, they went into what? They went into... Wala na. Eh, ang tax will serve as what? As a message of judgment. They just got the kind of Panginoon. Okay, hindi na kailangan ng judgment dahil the message of judgment in the form of tongues dahil hindi na sa sila ng Panginoon. Wala na rin ang kanilang religious life. Dahil wala na ang temple. Diba? Tapos na ang kanilang religious life. Dahil hindi na kailangan niya. Ang pagsama sa Panginoon, hindi na ngayon sa temple using animal sacrifice. Dahil ang pagsapa sa Panginoon yun ay sa pamumulitan ng kanyang mga churches na. At ang bansang Israel went into worldwide dispersion. Because of persecution, sila po ay mabalag sa iba't ibang manig ng mundo, which is known as the Diyas. Di ba ang bansang Israel na wala sa mata? Uh, kailan lang na muli sila na-resto sa kanilang bansa at anong balik. At muli nagkaroon ng mga uh, Bandila, ano ba ng kanilang bandila? Bandila ng mga New World Order yan. Yung kanilang uh, Star of David. <laughs> Dahil hindi yan talagang bandila ng Israel, ano? Dahil ang bandila ng uh, Star of David, doon na... Uh, hindi ba ba yan? Uh, hindi po yan ang bandila ng Israel. Although yan ang uh, bandila na ibinigay ng mga mga uh, Illuminati sa kanila. They have to be, if they have, they have a, a, a flag, you know, it should be like this. And yeah. Are you about that? Saudi Arabia, Menorah. 
Yan daw ang katagal ng simbol ng Israel, kami ang Nora. The seven candlestick, dahil ito, simbol ito ng kulto, simbol ito ng okol tisip, pag okol niya, hindi yan simbol ito ng Panginoon. Ito ang simbol ng Panginoon. Kaya sa tagal na ang kanya, pumasok sa temple niya, at sa regulation, nakabanggit pa rin yan, I will remove the candlestick, di ba? Nasa regulation pa rin yan. Yan ang simbol ng Israel. Pero ito, Simbolo ng pulpo ito eh, hindi po yan simbolo ng Panginoon. At yan ang flag. Although, yan yan ang nangyari, and yet, nag-fulfill pa rin na sila po yung na-restore. Dahil naka-prophecy, naka-prophesy din yan, Ezekiel 36-24. Pag-ibasa na? Dahil iipulit sila uli ng Panginoon, at pag inipon sila ng Panginoon, kaya natin, hindi na uli sila uli ng mga alat. Talagang itatanig na sila ng Panginoon, sila na yung punong Egos na namukat ka, the olive tree, at the fig tree, you know? Ezekiel 36, 24, is that right? And I will take you from among the heathen, and gather you of all countries, and will bring you into your own land. That is just another verse. Then you will spring water of water. Yung That's Ezekiel 36, 24. And I will take you from among the heathen. Yeah. And gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. Pero din yung verse na, wala nang makakahugot sa inyo. Di ba na dito yun, ano? Wala nang makakabudot sa inyo. Pag dinalik ko kayo sa bansa nyo, wala nang makakabudot sa inyo. But for now, Nung nasira yung uh, temple at yung Jerusalem in 1870, eh, wala na rin ang kanilang religious life, so there's no need for the uh, judicial sign of speaking in the tongues. You know, to warn them. Third reason, bakit po ang tongues? Third reason bakit ang tongues will cease? Because tongues is an inferior means of edification. Actually, yan po ang mensahe ng 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Saan po natin ito? 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Tongues is what? Inferior. Compared to prophecy, what is a prophecy, you know? Lalo na kung prophecy, a preaching, is being preached in intelligible language. Ano sabi ng Apostle Paul? Yung mag-preach lang ako ng kahit lilimang word na, 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 na kahit mag-preach ako ng lilimang salita lamang eh. Basta malinaw. Mas advantageous pa yan, mas lamang pa yan kaysa 10,000 words na spoken in other tongues na wala naman nakakaintindi. Diba? Nasa 1 Corinthians chapter 14 yan. Verse ano? 13, gano'n nyo. 1 Corinthians 14 verse... Uh, 30? Yeah. Ito yung verse na kahit 10,000 langis pa yan. Eh, di ba yung limang salita lang na naisintiyan? Chapter 14. Anong verse yan? Eh, di ba yung uh, limang salita na naisintiyan? 19. <coughs> Yet in the church, I have rather speak five words with my understanding. So, may iba yung mag-preach ako, mag-prophesy ako ng limang salita lang, naiintindihan, intelligible, that my voice I might teach others also, that 10,000 words in an unknown tongue, wala namang nakakaintindi. So, in that case, tongues is inferior and prophecy is superior than tongues. Then it comes to edification. So in short, ang sinasabi ni Apostle Paul, 
tongues have the ability to edify in a very limited way. Verse 5, I would that you all speak with tongues, but rather that ye prophesy. For greater is he that prophesieth than he that speaketh with tongues, except he interpret that the church may receive edifying. particularly book of Acts. And the last record of tongues in the book of Acts is in chapter 19. Nung uh, inamit si Paul the mga 12 disciples of John. Diba? Pero 12 disciples si John na kahit disciples, mga unbelievers pa. Sabi ni Paul, na-receive na binin yung Holy Spirit. We were baptized by the baptism of John. So, we were baptized by the unbelievers. And we were baptized by the So, Paul preached Christ, they believed and were baptized, and immediately these disciples spoke in tongues and verse 19. Acts 19. Acts 19. Acts 19. Ano version? Ano yung uh, Acts 19. Verse 5, 19, 5. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied, and all the men were about twelve. So after this, Wala na kayong mababasa na record of tongues in the earlier church. The next moment that Paul mentions tongues, ay eh, dito na sa 1 Corinthians 14. Na sinasabi niya sa 1 Corinthians 14, tongues is an inferior means of edification. It is an inferior means of edification. Mag-preach ka na lang in a no tongue. Mag-preach ka. Kasi yung he created me give of or ability to speak in foreign language so wala naman nakakaintindi. Yung purpose ng edification, disadvantageous pa nga yun eh. For sign lang yun, hindi naman na kailangan ng sign eh. Tapos na yun, ang parang kailangan niya. So, yun ang sinasabi ni Paul na it shall cease. Okay? So, not only that tax is an inferior means of edification, ano? And it's very, it has very limited ability at five. Tinan natin yung 1 Corinthians 14, 12, and 13. 1 Corinthians 14, 12, and uh, 13. Even so, ye, for as much as ye are zealous of spiritual gifts, seek that ye may excel to the edifying of the church. Wherefore, let him that speaketh in other tongues Pray that he may interpret 27 28, verses 27 and 28. For he hath put all things under his feet. Sorry. 14, 27 28. If anyone speak in unknown tongue, let it be by two or at the most by three, and that by course, and let one interpret. But if there be no interpreter, let him keep silence in the church. And let him speak to himself and to God. Usually, kasi nung araw, mga kapatid, ang ability to speak in tongues, usually yan, ay meron pong kasamang direct, direct revelation. You know? Direct revelation from God. So especially, when it comes doon sa mga point na ang revelation ay medyo veiled. Medyo hindi masyadong uh, klaro. Yung nire-reveal ng Panginoon, kailangan niya meron pag interpret Kaso nga naman, meron kompleto ng Bible. 
Yellow book of the right by the nation after the Bible. After the Bible, what the Bible is the right by the nation for that? If I can last a bit, so it will naturally be added and it should cease as a gift. So the primary purpose of 1 Corinthians 14 is to show that tongues were an inferior means of communication. Not only as an inferior means of communication, it is an inferior means of praise. So it's as I imagine, you know, tongues is, is inferior as a means of communication. As a means of praise, inferior to it. For example, but preach ako sa inyo in a English kasi, kahit English, alam niya rin kung English eh. Ano ba yung imperial? India. Wala, walang saysaya, no? Kahit siguro meron dito ka, sabihin natin, pag-preach ako sa inyo yung Buwano. Kanyari, ayaw ko pag-preach sa Buwano. Eh, hindi naman lahat si Buwano ito. Di ba? Hindi naman lahat ni Sayan. Paano may mga makano? Paano may mga Tagalog na hindi nakakintit eh? Di ba? Eh, mga foreign yan, tongues yan, foreign tongue or foreign language. Pero dahil hindi naiintindihan, eh, nagiging inferior siya as a means of communication. Eh, ito may English na lang. Dahil kahit pa mo, lang sa atin dito, kahit pa mo, lang nakakaintindi ng English, pero hindi na nakakapagsalita at nakakaintindi ng Visayan language. Diba? So, if you compare mo yung Visayan language sa English, mas superior kay English dahil kahit pa mo lahat, makakaintindi ng English. Siyempre sinasabi niya po sa Paul na as a means of communication, speaking in foreign language is uh, inferior. Tongues is an inferior means of communication. That's why it has limited ability to edify. Mahina siya sa edification dahil inferior siya as a means of communication. Pero yung unknown tongue, gusto niyo yung unknown tongue, dati pa gusto ko sa mga taga-purito ng unknown tongue, mabigit niya. Because at that time, masyadong sikat yung uh, Delphic Gades, yung sa, sa temple, meron mga may mga prophetess, mga prophets, priestess, na nagsasalita ng, ng iba't ibang sound. Although, hindi naman talaga language yun, baga staggering lang, gibberish lang. Pero yun, effect ng mga mga iniinom nila yung mga iba-ibang concoctions na pinagsamasama ng mga herbs tapos iniinom ng mga priests or priestesses ang effect niyan bigla nakakapagsalita ano kung ano ang mga salita at ano naman uh, parang tuwan-tuwa yung mga worshippers talagang matindi pagsamba at madama at mamaya meron namang interpret sinaniba na siya sinaniba na siya ng espiritu ni Apollos Sinaniba na siya ng Espiritu ni Zeus at ito ang kanyang mensahe. Dagdagan nyo raw ang offering. <laughs> so, meron na din. Sila naman, may mga illiterate yung iba dyan, ang ang hama sa ganung ability na eh, nung nasa ito sila, parang kinaikrave nila yung ganung gift, kinaikrave nila, na mga matulad man lang sa mga Delphic Priestess at sa Corinth. Sabi niya, Bozo, bago niya, yung pangarapin niya, ang purpose niya is to communicate, to edify. Eh, gusto niyo sa ibang language dahil popular yung kanyang uh, kakayanan na ganyan, popular niya. Kaya hindi naman kayo nakakapag-edify. Eh, purpose mo sa edify. Do not create for it because it is an inferior means of communication and not only that, it is an inferior means of praise. So, masahin natin ang uh, 14.1. Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that you may prophesy or preach. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no one understand that theme, albeit in the spirit he being speaketh mysteries. But he that prophesieth or preacheth, speaketh unto men to edification and exhortation and comfort. But that we preach tayo, may pakinabang yan for edification, comfort, and exhortation. Pero yun ang nandong tanggal, walang makaintindi sa'yo, 
Eh, ikaw at ang Diyos lamang ang nagkakaintindihan. Pero as far as the rest of the church membership, hindi ka nakakatulong. Kaya, imperial siya. Verse uh, 5. I hope that you all speak with tongues, but rather that ye prophesy. For greater seed that prophesy that he that speaketh with tongues, except he interpret, that the church may receive and divide. Now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you? Except I shall speak to you either by revelation or by knowledge, or by prophesying or by faith. And even things without light, giving sound, whether pipe or heart, except they give a distinction in the sounds. How shall it be known what is pipe or heart? For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? So likewise ye, except the utter by tongue, works easy to be understood, how shall it be known what is spoken? For ye shall speak into the air. Parang isasalita lang sa hapin, wala ko pang nakakalam na nakakaintindi sa'yo. There are, it may be, so many kinds of voices in the world, and none of them is without signification. Therefore, if I know not the meaning of the voice, I shall be unclean that speaketh a barbarian, and he that speaketh shall be a barbarian unto me. Even so ye, for as much as ye are zealous of spiritual gifts, seek that ye may excel to the edifying of the church. Kapit hindi lamang yun may ating itikan na magsalitain po rin natin lang. The purpose natin is to edify, So you do it in language that is known to the listeners. Sorry po, preaching po, ang identification po, in the language known to the listeners, or known to the church who listen, who listens to us, or listens to you. Pero magsalita ka ay unknown tongue, barbaro ka, doon sa, dumaan ka sa barbaro ka sa nakikinig, at ikaw din, at kumakang barbaro ka. Para ka lang nagsasalita sa hangin, sabi na po sa po, dahil walang nakakaintip niya sa'yo. So, as a means of, of, of communication, ability to speak in tongues is inferior. Not only that, as a means of grace, it is also inferior. 13 to 19. Wherefore, let him that speaketh in an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret. Pray, for if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth, but my understanding is unfruitful. What is it then? I will pray with the Spirit, and I will pray with understanding also. I will sing with the Spirit, and I will sing with the understanding also. Else that thou shalt bless with the Spirit, how shall he that occupieth the room of the unlearned say, Amen? At thy giving of thanks, see he understandeth not what thou sayest. Paano siya nakaka-amen sa'yo? Sa papuri mo, sa Panginoon, sa paglalati mo, hindi siya nakaka-amen na hindi niya na nga itindihan kung ano yung mga lumalabas at mga kapuring sinasabi mo. Unknown eh. How can you say Amen? How can you say Oma? How can you say Praise the Lord? Ha? Hindi ka na nakakawaan. So as a means of praise, wala, talo-talo rin siya. No? Uh, at the giving of thanks, say, you understand that na, but thou say yes. For 17. For thou very me give us thanks well, But the other is not edified. So, ikaw, alam mo yung nagwa, isa naman yung din. Hindi ka nakakatulong sa iba. Hindi rin sila nakakapapuri. Dahil hindi nila nakakawa na sinasabi mo. I thank my God, I speak with tongues more than ye all. Ay, baka sarcastic na siya rin din. Pagkasalamat ako ako, kaya ko magsalita ng iba't ibang nagwahe kaysa sa inyo lahat. Baka din na siya, learning si... Kung eh. Pero hindi na ginamit yung ano, parang display, yung kanyang galing na uh, he can speak different languages. Kung di kung ano yung nagwahe, alam ng kanyang kausap, hindi na ginagamit niya. Hindi pa rin magpalakay na aramisa sa iba't ibang nagwahe. Sabi niya, ako nga, alam, mas labang ako sa inyo sa kaalaman eh. So, different languages ang pag-uusapan, sabi niya. Uh, I thank my God, I speak with tongues more than you all. Yet in the church, I'd rather speak my words with my understanding that by my voice I might teach others also the 10,000 words in an unknown tongue. Uh, <laughs> so, 
If therefore the whole church be come together into one place and all speak with tongues, and there come in those that are unlearned or unbelievers, will they not say that ye are mad? But if all prophesy, and there come in one that believeth not, may not believe to the Sita, or one unlearned, he is convinced of all, he is judged of all. And thus are the secrets of his heart made manifest, and so falling down on his face, he will worship God and report that God is in you of a truth. So, we have to that the church is in the church. So, we have to say that the church is in the church. We have to say that the church is in the church. We have to say that the church is in the church. We have to say that the church is testimony ng Indonesia. But the favorite, ang sagot ng mga members, Amen, salamat sa Panginoon, sa Aba ko na nagkasala, sa Aba namin na mga mga mahihina, mga anak pa rin ng Panginoon. So, yung bisita, eh, nararamdaman niya yan eh. Nararamdaman niya yan eh. Ano? Alam niyo po, kahit hindi niyo magsalit sa ano, pero mayroong mga mensaheng mararamdaman eh. Mararamdaman ng bisita na welcome siya, mararamdaman ng bisita na nene-neglect siya, walang pakailan sa kanya, o nararamdaman ng tao na uh, ang, ang, ang gawain niya talaga, niya hinahakad na purihin ng Panginoon. Uh, I, forgot, I forgot the name of this uh, Russian scientist. He was able to create, invent a kind of, of a camera. Kapag pinicture niya yung tao, ang lumalaga sa picture ng aura. Sinubok niya sa halaman, gano'n din. Pag pinicture niya yung halaman, meron parang ray of energy na lumalabas. Pagka sinasaktan yung halaman, iba yung nararage na energy. Parang, parang nakakaramdam din ng fake na uh, iba yung energy na lumalabas sa halaman. Eh. Pag pinicture niya yung tawang buhay, healthy, at yung dying, iba rin yung yung ray, yung ray na lumalabas sa sa camera doon, di ba? At ang last na ang last na namatay na may ilaw, liwanag sa tao pagka nalalagutan na nahinig ka, yung kanyang bantang dyan. Yung kanyang bantang dyan. Kaya sinasabi na spirit communicate with spirit. Kahit hindi mo sila sa tao, mararamdaman mo na hindi kayo magkasagunan na nito. Hindi kayo magkapareho ng frequency. Hindi kami magkaiba ng mga. Pero wala nagsasalita. Pero, meron kang nararamdaman. 
because spirit communicates with spirit. Alam mo isang tao, ang tao ni speaker. Alam mo isang tao, eh, dalam na lang ng tao. Alam mo. Kaya sinasabi ni Paul na, pag may tumatik sa inyo, at naunawaan niya, at naramdaman niya, at nagkakaisa kayo, namamanin kayo sa puso, puso niya na, kakaiba ako, ang gilin ko, ito mga tao na ako, ito mga tao na ako. So, na-expose ang kanyang kalagayan sa tinan, he will call them, and he will worship God, and he will report that indeed, God is in this place. God is in this room, and God is among these people. So, as a means of communication, mga kapatid, practice or prophesy or preaching in no time, in no language better than at no time. It is inferior as a means of communication, at no time is inferior as a means of praise, and at no time is inferior as a means of evangelism. Okay? Ah, uh, wala lang po tayo tayo. Tayo po 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 Sure. Salamat po ama sa kapayagan ng salita. Salamat po ama sa pagkakataon. Magandang po ama yung magkatipon-tipon sa inyong gawain, sa inyong panambahan. At patalangin ko po ama na sana po ang mga salita ay patuloy na magpalakas sa aming spiritual ng mga buhay. Gabayan kami sa aming pamumuhay. Gabayan kami sa aming mga Pinagawa sa araw-araw, mga pinigit desisyon na, yung pinigili, at hapang ng aming mga paglaman. Palain po ama, lalagang uh, bahagi ng aming gawain, kaya eh, patuloy na mataas, at kapapurihan sa aming panagin. At po ama, yung panagin, sa araw ng panagin. Ang punang po ano? Hindi alis po ako. Dismissa po tayo, ito po mga YT. Uh,